above the frost line on the north coast of New South Wales at Coffs Harbour thrives the industry known as the banana business. Steep hillsides shelter the trees from the savage westerly and southerly winds. Trees, wide-leafed and gracious, shelter the newly formed flowers from the tropical heat. Buds, too, are protected by the fleshy plant in this way, for the banana is a delicate fruit affected by changes in climate and handling. In the shady groves, which are a feature of every plantation, pickers, armed with a machete, collect the bunches. It's heavy work, as each bunch weighs from 70 to 100 pounds. Water forms 90% of the tree, and minute cells hold liquid throughout its life. An ex-army jeep now commences its peacetime trade of carting bananas. Steep hillsides and rugged plantations make any other form of transport difficult. Even horses balk at such work. From the high hillsides to the lower packing sheds, flying foxes crisscross the valleys. From the outlying plantations, cables converge into a central platform. Here, it's all changed for the next line. The line which flies lower the nearer plantations, direct to the packing shed. Over 40 miles an hour is reached by bunches of bananas travelling this way. It's the quickest and most direct route to market. In this district alone, over 200,000 cases of fruit are produced annually. When converted to pound shillings and pence, this means an industry worth over 400,000 pounds to the district. Prior to the Australian industry getting on its feet, fruit was imported from the Pacific Islands. Now it's homegrown, graded, packed and eaten. Fruit that for quality and quantity equal the best the world can produce.